Hey everybody, welcome back to The Stuff of Legend. My name is D-Lo, I'm your host, and I have another fan casting video for you guys today. We are going to be talking about casting the MCU X-Men's James Logan Howlett Wolverine. As you guys are well aware, we have very big shoes to fill in the MCU coming out of the Fox canon storylines. So all those stories that were told with uh, Hugh Jackman, and then we're talking about Sir Patrick Stewart, we're talking about Michael Fassbender, all of the actors that we've seen in the iterations of the X-Men up until now, that series has is coming to a close with X-Men Dark Phoenix, and we're going to see all the MCU characters start to come into the MCU over the next five, six years. I wanted to get a jump start and start fan casting actors who I think would be really good in the role as Wolverine and many of these other X-Men, but today we're going to focus specifically on Wolverine, okay? So one differentiation I wanted to make was that as much as I and everybody else loves Hugh Jackman's Wolverine, he was the focal point of the X-Men and he was not very comic book accurate. He got the aggression down, he had the attitude down, but one thing that was very, very drastically different was that Hugh Jackman was very, very tall. And I'm going to address that and I'm going to address my choices based on what I think should happen in the MCU in contrast with what we've gotten so far. If you want your MCU Wolverine to succeed, it can't be an apples to apples comparison with Hugh Jackman. Otherwise, there's going to be a large part of your fan base that will reject the new iteration of Wolverine because of their appreciation for Hugh Jackman. But if they're different enough, yet still accurate to the source material, then the fans can be pleased and we can all enjoy this new iteration of Wolverine without having to feel like we're disrespecting or liking Hugh Jackman less. So let's get into it. All right, so as you can see here, we're talking about Wolverine. We can see that Hugh Jackman, Troy Sylvan, Mark Hamill, Steve Blum, there's been a number of people who have played or voiced Wolverine over the years, but we're going to be getting into MCU Wolverine. So let's go ahead and get started. So one distinction I wanted to make was that Hugh Jackman was six foot three, which is pretty tall for a dude. Um, and he was very slender, but he clearly committed himself to the role and bulked up like we've never seen before. He set a trend in superhero films that you have to get jacked out of your mind to play these roles. And that's something that we greatly appreciate from the actors who play these roles. If you want Wolverine in the MCU to succeed, he has to be more comic book accurate than Hugh Jackman in order to succeed. He can be a fantastic actor, he could crush the role, but people will always compare him to the original. But if he's more comic book accurate, and he's more accurate to the source material, he will be able to be received by the fans with open arms, just like Hugh Jackman was, despite the lack of comic book accuracy. So, with Wolverine in the MCU, he's supposed to be five foot three. Now that's really, really short. There's very few actors out there that fit that description, but we can get close and we can try to aim for that kind of a feel depending on how we cast the rest of the X-Men. I've already talked about this, so I don't wanna make this the focus of the video, but let's get into it. You'll see that I'm starting to cast actors that are shorter that I think can play the role. They must be able to play the role, but that are shorter specifically. And then I'll go, I'll work up from there. First up, my number one pick for Wolverine is Scott Kahn, who is 42 years old. He is five foot five, which is not five three, but it's very, very close. You guys know him from Hawaii Five-0, Ocean's Eleven, Into the Blue, Varsity Blues, Entourage, and many other things. Um, I wanted to show you guys, there's been plenty of fan art of him as Wolverine. Even though he's a blonde guy, you can clearly just dye his hair a little bit. He actually does tend to wear his hair back in a similar fashion to Wolverine most of the time, and he does tend to have some sort of sideburns or facial hair that'll allow him to look like Wolverine naturally all the time. So if he's not clean shaven, he's always got that five o'clock shadow and he has plenty of facial hair. He could grow a natural facial hair to look like Wolverine as well. He's always in great shape. Watch, I'll show you some of these images. Look at this, just a picture of him captured on the beach. He does a lot of surfing. He's been surfing his whole life. Let's take a look. There's some of these images you can clearly see. Yeah, I think I could see him in the role of Wolverine. And him being very small would look really good up against, like say an army hammer, who is six foot, whatever, five or whatever he is. I think that would look really awesome. Or whoever he's gonna go up against like Sabretooth, which I haven't done my fan casting video for yet. Check out the fan casting summit number four we just did. Um, Cause me and 30 other guys get together to show you our favorite picks for Wolverine. There's plenty of side by side comparisons. One thing to note, I would really like either a yellow and brown suit 
yellow and black suit or a yellow and blue suit. I want comic book accuracy. And if you say that comic book accurate costumes don't work, I think you're wrong because comic book accurate costumes are what get us all hyped. I mean, frickin' Mysterio is gonna be more accurate than even this. It's gonna be legit, the trailers look great. So, nevertheless, I think this is what we need. So, Daniel Radcliffe, who's 29 years old, he is also five foot five, which is really, really short, people. Now you're saying, but Daniel, Daniel Radcliffe is really skinny. That he is, he is very skinny, but he did have to bulk up. I forget which one of these roles it was. It might've been Jungle Fitness. So he is still very slender, I'm not denying that, but he started re in recent years to pack on a little bit of muscle to hit the gym so that he's not super bony. Now, I would want him to bulk up a lot from this point, a lot. I'm with you guys. I think that he needs to get built if he's gonna play Wolverine, but he is the right height, he's got the facial hair, and he can do accents, he can do rage. If you've seen him in horns, you've seen him bring a great performance in that direction. He's a great actor. Yes, he's on the skinnier side, but let me remind you, so is Hugh Jackman. Hugh Jackman was on the skinny side and he committed himself to the role. So don't knock this guy. Talented actor, the right height. I think he would do a great job. Enough about that. Let's take a look at some of his images. Boss Logic did an excellent art piece of him as Wolverine. I think this speaks of what we could be getting. It's pretty cool. Obviously, I would still want him to bulk up a lot. And again, that's my number one stipulation here is he would need to bulk, but I think he could do a good job. All right, next up, we have Zac Efron, 31 years old and five foot eight. If you guys have seen Baywatch, if you guys have seen The Greatest Showman, you guys know that this guy's a really talented actor. Yes, he's a singer. He's done some musicals and whatnot, but so did Hugh Jackman. So if you guys are gonna say he's not cut out for the role, Hugh Jackman must not be cut out for the role. And besides, if anyone on planet Earth is fit for the role, like fit fit, it's Zac Efron. May I remind you guys, he's one of the most ripped individuals on the planet and he hasn't even done a superhero role yet. He's just, not, he's all about fitness. This guy is Jack City. Look at this guy. Look at those shoulders, man. This guy's got abs on his abs, it's crazy. What the heck, man? It's freaking nuts. And he, his face does sort of resemble Hugh Jackman. Now, this is an art piece of him as Wolverine. I think it's pretty good. I think he would do a really good job. And he would obviously look a little bit younger. This one, uh, not the best edit in the world, but it does look good. I like this one. It kind of shows off the direction I think we'd be going with him as Wolverine. And I think that would be a really good direction. Plus he's 5'8". I think that's a great height for an actor playing Wolverine as long as you get a really tall Cyclops, Beast, and the rest of the team that are supposed to be staggeringly huge. Make sure those actors are really big so on camera, Wolverine does in fact look like a really small man. All right, next up, Kit Harrington, also 5'8", 32 years old from Game of Thrones, Pompeii, How to Train Your Dragon 2, uh, How to Train Your Dragon 3, Gunpowder, Seven Days in Hell. So this guy, talented British actor, I have not heard him do an English accent or Canadian, but he does look like the role. He looks like a lot of the comic book iterations of Wolverine, and I think that's helpful. I think that's something that fans are gonna wanna see is that he looks like Wolverine. A big part of comic book fans and fandom is that it's about comic books. It's about illustrations, it's about art. It's about telling the stories written down with the words as we watch these characters with the art and the colors and all that stuff. So it's it's massively important that w when we see the actor, we see the character that we grew up with or that we like on paper. It has to look like that character. And I do think that Kit Harrington could pull that off for sure. He needs a different haircut than he's got here for sure. The guy is fit already. Obviously again, bulk up a little bit, that wouldn't, that wouldn't hurt. But I think he's the right size and he's a talented actor, he could get the job done. So, Nevertheless, let's keep moving. Tom Hardy, we have 41 years of age, five foot nine. Now I know what you're thinking, guys. Wait a minute, didn't Tom Hardy play both in the DCEU and now is in the Sony-verse with Venom? Yes, but just because he's in those universes doesn't mean that he can't possibly play in the MCU. There's many actors that, that exist in the DC universe and in the Marvel universe and also 
actors now that are in the DC universe and in the Sony universe. It's literally just up to Kevin Feige to just say, hey, if you want to be in this role, let's sit down, let's negotiate a contract. I don't know if they'd go for it because they probably wouldn't want to confuse the fans too much, especially with them being big names in both franchises. If it was like a big name in one and a small role in the other, it's probably not that big of a deal. But if it's two big character names like Venom and Wolverine, they may not go for it. But even if they have a possibility, I want to mention it because I know so many of you guys are, are wanting Tom Hardy to be in this role. Five foot nine is a good height, a little bit taller than Zac Efron and Kit Harington. But man, is this guy a fan favorite. Take a look at some of this art, man. Look at that. These guys out here on the internet are doing some good work. Look at these. That's awesome. That's clearly Hugh Jackman's body, but with Tom Hardy there. We've seen him do so many roles like Mad Max, Fury Road. Even in Venom, you can see him lashing out as Wolverine being that scrappy fighter. Oh, man, it would be so cool. And then check this out. This is a quote here. I don't know if this is reliable because I don't see the source. Tom Hardy was wanted as young Wolverine in discarded X-Men prequel. Could be. Could be cool. I would love to see Tom Hardy in the role. I think he's great for it. I think he's got the right personality. He's got the right resume for it. And uh, he's got the right body type for it. I think he would be ideal for this kind of a role. Next up, Shia LaBeouf, 32 years old, five foot nine, just like Tom Hardy. Disturbia, Fury, which was a fantastic movie. Holes, which is way older. Transformers. I love Shia LaBeouf. I think he needs to get a lot more recognition. Uh, people know him, but they know him from his earlier work and they look at him like a kid. And this guy's 32. I wanted to show you guys some images of him that might change your mind. Since his work on holes, he started to hit the gym a little bit. His fitness has stepped up. Now he's not training for any specific buff roles, but he is pretty built for a guy that's not really aiming for something like super heroic. This guy's build is pretty pretty solid. Still, still a little bit smaller, but that's okay. We gotta bulk him up for the role of Wolverine. Look at that. His facial hair is on point. I think his ability to portray someone that's full of anger or rage or like a cornered animal, that kind of thing, this guy is awesome. Plus, if you look at this image, I think that's really that's a really good depiction. And Matt, just put like a cigar in his mouth or something, change this to dog tags. I think that would be great. I think that would be wonderful. I would love to see this guy in it. These people seem to believe in him. Done better up next. I hope that we get to see more of Shia LaBeouf and I hope that he does get to at least audition for the role. Whether or not he gets it, who knows? Well, let's keep looking. Next up, we have John Bernthal, 42 years old, five foot 11. Now I know what you guys are thinking. He's in Marvel's The Punisher. He is the Punisher. I know, but again, how it works with the MCU is that movies exist up here and they're the primary stories. TV is downstream. There's a hill and the water runs downhill. All the stories run down the hill and they affect what's going on here in the TV shows. Nothing from the TV shows can go back uphill. There was like one reference to uh, Agent Coulson flying like a helicarrier or something or a pelican. It was a reference to Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. from Avengers Age of Ultron or Winter Soldier or something. It was one, re one reference literally. That's it. And then everything else is downstream. I would like to see more of this guy. Now we know that the Netflix shows have been canceled and that within two years of the canceling, Marvel has the ability to continue using those characters if they should so choose. Now, if they don't so choose, I think John Bernthal would be a fantastic Wolverine. 42 years old, 5'11". Look at this. I'm sorry, is that Wolverine or the Punisher? I don't know. It could be either, it really could. Let's take a look at some of these other art pieces. Here's one of him, I think it's on uh, The Walking Dead. And then this is uh, a picture of Wolverine, of course. Here's an art, this is pretty neat. It's kind of a, kind of cartoonish, but it's pretty cool. You get the idea. And then him playing the Punisher was super rage mode. It was super like grunting and, and howling and stuff. He played Wolverine basically in the Punisher and I love his version of the Punisher, but he's totally fit for Wolverine. I think he would be great for that. And that's another option. So let's keep moving. Next up, we got Taylor Kitsch. Yes, he was already in an X-Men film. Yes, he was in a Wolverine film. He was in X-Men Origins Wolverine. He was also in Friday Night Lights, John Carter, Battleship, Lone Survivor, Waco. This guy, 5'11", he's a little bit taller. We're starting to get into the taller choices for, for Wolverine. 38 years old. So if you guys don't remember, he played Gambit in X-Men Origins Wolverine, which I do think he was good at. I think he was good enough. I think his costume sucked, 
but he needed that's not really his fault he doesn't get to choose a costume they gave him a weak costume he's a very good actor he's right for the role of gambit but i do think he would also be really good in the role of wolverine i don't think there's a lot of fan art for him as wolverine but he would be really really savage as a wolverine his facial hair too naturally kind of feels like wolverine i think he's good as gambit i think he'd be probably even better as wolverine so let's keep moving all right next up we got luke evans at 40 years old this guy is six feet tall getting a little bit too tall for my tastes but it's okay we're gonna keep looking so dracula untold beauty and the beast the alienist the girl on the train fast and furious 6 you know this guy from so many things including clash of the titans in 2010 there's some edits here a lot of people have been seeing this guy and wanting him to play a number of comic book roles including sinestro and green lantern but I think that he would do a really good job playing a slightly older looking Wolverine. Now he doesn't have to be like old man Logan or anything, but just a little bit more of a mature Wolverine. I think he would do a really good job. He played Gaston in Beauty and the Beast as more of a musical tribute to uh, his talents, but he's very macho. The guy is a savage and a stud. He was in The Hobbit. I think he would be a really cool Wolverine. I don't think he'd be the best Wolverine out of the bunch that I've picked, but I do like him and I think that it would be really cool to see him get this kind of a role in the MCU. If not, perhaps he should play Mr. Sinister. Let me know what you guys think about that down below. All right, next up, we have Keanu Reeves, 54 years old and six foot one. This guy is amazing. John Wick, The Matrix, Replicas, Knock Knock. You guys have seen him in plenty of different things, but you probably seen some fan art of him as Wolverine already. A lot of people have been casting. This is probably one of my favorite art pieces of him as Wolverine because it does the best justice here. This one's really good too, but it kind of reminds me of Taylor Kitsch's Gambit, honestly. And I think that's probably where they got this inspiration. But let's take a look. Him compared to Hugh Jackman. I think it would be a fan favorite to have him play Wolverine. Everybody loves this guy. He's one of everybody's favorite martial arts films, guys. Look at that. That's a really good edit right there of his fist with the claws. That's really good. Here's one of him, cigar in his mouth, ready to go. That's cool, man. I really like these edits. I think these are good. Oh, that one's very interesting. I like that too. I still think that my favorite one is this one right here, but you guys can check this out. It's all on Google. <laughs> you guys can have a look, see, all right? So take a look. I think this is amazing art and I would love to see him get the role, even though he's a little bit more on the tall side. I would like a shorter Wolverine because like I said at the beginning, if you're going to go up against Hugh Jackman, you got to have something that Hugh didn't have. You got to have something that Hugh wasn't able to impress upon the fans. And that's accuracy to the character. I think accuracy to the character would be someone shorter than this. But if you want someone that's almost apples for apples with Hugh Jackman, Keanu Reeves is the guy. And that is all 10 of the actors that I want to play Wolverine in the MCU. But I've got one more thing for you guys. I wanted to show you guys some fan art that I did myself that's in the Fan Casting Summit number four that you guys can check out there in the video. But also, I wanted to show you guys what Scott Kahn and Shia LaBeouf look like as Wolverine. I did these arts based on pictures that I found online of them. So you guys could see kind of what they look like. It's a little bit up close, but it's, you know, it's something that you guys can observe for yourselves. So on the left, you have Scott Kahn, who is five foot five. And then you also have Shia LaBeouf on the right, who is five foot eight. I think both these guys would be really good for the role. And these are my top two picks out of the whole bunch to play Wolverine in the MCU. So again, thanks guys for giving me the time. Let me know what you guys think about these choices down below in the comments. Was there anyone that I had left out that you thought would be great for the role? Let me know in the comments as well. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you can be alerted right away when I go live next time. That way you guys won't miss a thing. Anyways, you guys stay tuned for more right here on The Stuff of Legend. Hey guys, D-Lo here. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And remember to share this video with all of your nerd friends. I know you got them and you know who they are. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought about this discussion. Let me know what you would like to see me do a video on next. Subscribe to the channel because you're a legend and we have that in common. Also be sure to turn on notifications to be notified right away when I upload my next video. 
or so that you can be alerted when I go live next time. That way you'll never miss a thing. Check out the other videos on the channel so that we can have a discussion on all your favorite movies and TV topics. Thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for more right here on The Stuff of Legend.